since last week, two weeks, we've been getting stories of companies um, mm -hmm. laying off or even re reducing staff, slashing staff salary, um, trying to reorganize their focus, their business plan, business models for the uh, for going forward. In your view, uh, companies that are that are confused, which many are at this time, <laughs> how can they begin to reassess uh, post COVID and what their directions will be going forward? We need to understand that there's a new normal, and we need to start to channel and f um, focus our businesses um, in that direction, right? Um, another thing that is important for businesses to take note of is um, they, they need to be optimistic, right? Um, it's, also, it's very possible with the, with the situation of things to be uh, di disappointed or depressed, um, probably as a business leader. But what your um, staff members need from you right now, the most important thing they need from you right now is that optimism from you as a business leader. Um, and then, as a business also, it's important right now that you start to look out for ways to pivot your businesses. Of course, all companies' brands are important to them. But then you are in a time where you're looking to either um, lay off because you cannot afford to keep everyone. And in laying off, especially in this time, you'll be seen as being insensitive. And I feel that would affect your brand. So what advice would you give that company now so the first step as a business owner would be for you to be transparent about the situation of things be transparent about your financials um, tell your empl employees exactly what is going on the effect of keeping things as they are right now and trust me you would you'll be surprised um, the kind of uh, uh, advice or um, feedback they would give you you know in order to combat this now the next thing for, for me would be that look maximize your cash cut spending um, but I would if if push comes to shove if you have to make a decision to seriously cut cost on um, on um, staff payments and all or staff salaries I would I would advise that you know instead of laying people off uh, probably um, you go for salary cuts now do you foresee a time where we'll be working based on the hours we put in and not just clocking in for a day and clocking out at the end of the day and get the money at the end of the month. Yeah, so, so even before COVID, right, um, I think this, this, is, uh, this is the model um, remote work has um, um, adopted even before um, COVID came. Um, so remote work, um, for instance, um, you are, you're pretty much um, paid based off your, your deliveries, not necessarily um, your activities, right? You agree before you start working on your deliveries and your timeline for deliveries, and then when you deliver, um, you're paid based on that delivery. Um, so that model already exists. It's not a new one. Um, what we now, we now start to see is that it it's, uh, becomes um, the new normal where um, employees would then, be, uh, would then be rewarded based off their... Um, results are not necessarily on on activities. Mm. Um, you will start to see um, performance management change mm. um, more around um, uh, specific KPIs, numbers driven KPIs, because that's the only way you can then know if something was delivered or not. Mm. Um, and this is something that um, employees also need to start to um, to 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 get used to. Um, another thing uh, that we would also start to see is pr probably. Um, and this is just my personal speculation, probably a, a better work-life balance because um, as an employee, when your delivery is uh, pretty much focused on, on, I mean, when your reward is focused on delivery, you are you you tend to have more time mm. you know when if for instance you're able to deliver quickly because i've seen situations where people are like oh I've, i'm done i'm done what i'm supposed to right. do it's two mm. o'clock right and i have to sit in the office till five mm. right but then we now come to situations where okay look you can you can do what you need to do between right. nine to two and then you get out of the office